Your dog doesn't see the world, it feels a completely different one. Jakob von Oexkor was a biologist and philosopher who lived from 1864 until 1944. He imagined what it would be like to wake up in a world without color or sound. Only sense and warmth. He asked us to picture ourselves as bats, soaring in pitch blackness. To Ux Call, these were not fantasies, but real, sealed, experiential bubbles. He called Umwelthelm, born into a Baltic German noble family. In what is now Estonia, Ux Quell studied zoology and physiology before directing the Institute for Umweltforschung in Hamburg. While his peers catalogued species and dissected organisms, he asked what it is like to be those organisms in 1909. He published Environment and Inner World of Animals, introducing Umwelt to mean an organism's subjective world built from its senses, needs, and actions. Each creature lives not in an objective landscape, but in its own soap bubble of perception. One of his favorite examples was the tick, which sits for years. The smell of biuteric acid, a rise in temperature, and the brush of fur, those cues form its entire universe. Everything else, the sun, the wind, the forest, is irrelevant. A frog, by contrast, perceives only movement and ignores anything that does not move. A bat inhabits an acoustic space shaped by sonar, pulses. A dog's world is woven from smell. Ux Call also described the functional circle, interprets them through an inner meaning structure, and then acts upon the world perception is not passive reception, but active construction. A jellyfish, for instance, does not see predators. It reacts only to changes in water pressure and salinity. Its reality is a dynamic map of meaningful cues and responses though overlooked in mainstream biology. He inspired thinkers such as Gregory Bateson, Merleau-Ponty, and Heidegger his question. What is it like to be a bat predated Thomas Nagel's famous essay by six decades? In an activist cognitive science, scholars like Francisco R. Ray La and Evan Thompson built on his insight that mind emerges from a loop. Designers of self-driving cars recognize that their vehicles build an umwelt of probabilities and trajectories, navigating a world utterly unlike our own. In an age obsessed with virtual reality, multi-species consciousness, and algorithmic personalization, Ux Quell's work feels eerily timely V8's custom perceptual bubble. Animal studies strive to understand other species on their own terms social media feeds tailor information into filter bubbles that fragment our shared world. Even debates about simulation theory echo his point that reality might be one of many, filtered through narrow constraints over X cause insight, resonates with Nishu's claim that there are no facts, only interpretations, and with Merlo Ponti's view of perception, as embodied world build. It adds depth to Donna Haraway's companion species and her partial perspectives. If animals live in unique, meaningful worlds, how should we treat them? If machines construct Umwelt N, can we relate to their experience? Jakob von Ox Quell challenged the assumption of a single objective world, equally accessible to all instead. He proposed a radical pluralism of world. Every creature is a subject and a world maker. And perhaps so do you.